Now if we return to photometric lighting, we notice that uh, our light source here, um, one of the properties uh, down here, down the line, says shade, area, shadows. And it's pretty much telling us what kind of shape do we want to emit our light from. We're at set at point, change that to rectangle. And simply, uh, rectangle is going to give us uh, the pane of glass. Next, we're going to take that shape and notice that the light source is actually on the inside of the room. The light source, the sphere, is the direction that light is traveling. Make sure that that is facing inside. I'm going to take my light and I'm going to go ahead and put it right inside the, um, the wall here. And then below that, I want to make sure where it says rendering, light shape visible in rendering. Make sure that is selected. What that's going to do is take that whole shape and brighten it up like as if it's emitting light, just like a window. Now I'm going to go ahead and hit my render button. And now what you can see is that the light source is actually, it appears like it's bright outside and the sun's coming in and it's lighting the area around the room. Now what we can do is make a second, since we have two windows, we want to make sure that both windows match the same properties because light comes through both at the same time. So I'm going to hold shift. I'm going to drag my second light over to the other light fixture. And I'm going to hit OK. Now what I'd like to do is make sure that uh, my room isn't overly bright. I'm going to render. And now you're starting to get the right idea here. It is we're starting to see sunlight come through. Now we can adjust those settings. We can adjust those settings by coming over here to the right side and uh, changing our Kelvin. Maybe we want it to be a late afternoon so we can put 3000 in there. And that's going to give us a different uh, color coming in maybe more like a late afternoon. Now notice this, this back wall here doesn't get any light yet. It's actually very dark. We're going to learn how to adjust so that the light bounces around the room and adjust that. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that back up. I kind of liked where we were with about 6,000. And we're going to go ahead and turn on something new. If you go to rendering, indirect illumination, you're going to see final gather. Now what final gather is going to do is pretty much it's going to clean up uh, the quality in our work and it's going to allow the light to come out clear. So I turned up to medium and I'm going to go ahead and do a render. And we're going to get a little better look at the light bouncing around the room. Uh, a little bit more realistic here, but the sampling uh, is a little faster now. Notice that it has to compute final gathering points, which is going to take another minute or so of our rendering time. But it's going to run through and actually do a real nice, crisp, clean look uh, at our final rendering here. Okay. So now we have the appearance, the lights are coming to the window, it's lighting the room. Uh, what else can we do to make this better? Well, uh, the next step is to learn about bounces, light bounces. A light comes in the room and it bounces around the room. How many times is it going to bounce? So we find that under rendering, indirect illumination. Under the final gather, you'll notice we have diffuse bounces. Now by upping that number, say I go to six, I'm going to I obviously have a higher render time, but now it's going to go through and uh, throw a little bit more light around that room. And that's going to help to uh, get a more realistic feel because that's what light does. Light travels and it bounces off of objects and then it reflects and it lights up the room. And that's going to give us uh, a little bit better rendering there. So at the conclusion of this rendering, I'll resume the video. Okay, now that we're done, you can see that the light, uh, it is brighter in the room now because uh, the light has traveled around to the various spots, even down here in the corner where the light is not directly hitting. There are um, detection of light because it's bouncing around the room. So let's go ahead now. We're going to clone our light sources uh, above to the skylights. And we can simply go in and just grab one uh, light from the uh, side, hit shift, bring it over here. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and rotate. And what did I do? Well, I instanced it. Now here's the problem when you got it going to instancing. 
is that if you go to scale this model, you got to be real careful because your other ones are going to go ahead and take the same shape. All right. So we're going to go ahead and right click and hit shape, uh, shift, and make two sets of lights here. And now we can go ahead and do one more final rendering and uh, see how much light. Now we've just doubled the amount of lights in the room. So what's going to happen is, is the light is going to be much more intense in the final rendering. So at the conclusion of this rendering, we'll resume the video and uh, we'll go in and make some changes to help lower the lighting in this room. Okay, now that this rendering is ripping through its final phase, we're going to notice that uh, we have a lot of light. In fact, we probably have too much light now. So, because we used the instance on these lights, means that we can go down and turn the intensity of one light down and it will affect all four. So let's do that. Let's minimize, let's hit one light, and we can go down here and go to 12, and that's going to lower all of them down to 12. We could also go down and maybe cut down the amount of bounces if we go into rendering indirect illumination. Cut our bounces down to four. That'll help. We can increase um, our set here till to high. And then to do a nice final clear rendering, we can go back into render setup, which was where we're at, but go to renderer. And remember we have our sample quality. We can go ahead and change that to say like a 4 and 64. Now the only thing that I would have you do once your room is completely set and you think you're pretty happy with it is to go into common and make sure you set your rendering uh, to custom. And our final rendering is 2304 by 1728. Make sure it's in camera view. I'm going to do a final render and then we'll check it out when we're all done.